All right. Recording started. Slapping my stream in the background while you dumpster dive in the Kiwi farm threads about Shad. You find any information past assault with a deadly weapon. Please share with the class. Ah! Oh, I don't even remember. I barely remember how to play this goddamn game. Lobster! Dude, look at this guy's camera. Holy shit. Alright, which place should I hit up first? Lobster. Hey, what's your game? Hey, come on! I did a whole pose and everything! Huh? That's supposed to be a pose? You think I just walk around like this, you freaking idiot? You're killing me here, making me make up my own punchlines and everything. The least you could do is freeze and say, who the hell are you or something? Uh, okay. So who the hell are you? <laughs> the name's Daniel Miller, a real doer. A journalist who makes the whole freaking world his oyster. The guys up at Morning Bell sent me here to give this little cabbage patch a proper journalistic shakedown. Seriously? You're going to sue the creator for cultural appropriation? <laughs> what? But that's my job. Yeah, some guy named Nicholas Anderson gave me the job, mailed me himself. The subhuman that calls itself Naomi Hayward cannot be trusted. I need a proper journalist to handle this case. Okay. Yeah, I thought he went too far with the whole subhuman thing, but now I get it. You're missing all the punchlines. You better watch it, New Yorker, or you're gonna be eating my dust before you even know what hit you. And then you'll never be able to pay off that big ass debt of yours. Yeah, real scary, ain't it? Damn you. Did you just come here to annoy me? Mind your own damn business. Sorry, yuppie, but no can do. See, we're rivals now. Only one of us is gonna get the chance to expose this town's secret to the whole frickin' world. <coughs> Goddamn hellhole. In this world, you might as well be dead unless you've got some cash on you. Did someone say cash? <laughs> Did someone say cash? Who the fuck is this guy? Why is so little of this game voiced? Who, who are you? Hmm. Pro debt collector, Yu Li, at your service. But you shouldn't concern yourself with my name. Naomi Hayward, you currently have a debt of 30 million pounds. I know that. I don't need you to tell me the exact number. Oh, salt! Come here! From this day forward, you'll be under my supervision until you're able to fully pay off your debt. Don't even think about running away from this town or trying to assume an alternate identity. Damn you! You really think I'd try to run out on you like that? I'd never! Never what? Never let yourself get into debt? You can't deceive me, because I don't trust you at all. Let's live a sad life. Jawbones for years? This guy's like the Chad meme. Anyone can live comfortably, as long as they have money. In other words, only money is truly capable of isolating people. Sure about that? The rules are simple. If you ever want to leave this town, you need to pay off every last bit of your debt, okay? Okay, okay, you made your stupid point already. Mm. And get busy, Miss Hayward. Start making money. Don't keep me waiting. What's MB? Michael Bay? First, there's murder. And now I've got some lobster asshole and pro debt collector to deal with. Male balls. Goddamn hellhole. I, I, I am now reminded of how, like... Alright, let's see. 
dog's thing, and you know, you'll be able to transform. Okay, yeah. Uh, I can choose to warp back home at any time. That's fantastic. That dog is horrifying. What about this cat? What's wrong with the dog? What the dog doing? What the dog doing? You've got new mail. Oh, a text. Wait, what am I doing? It's been so long since I last used my cell phone. The withdrawal must be causing my mind to act up. Phantom Vibration Syndrome, a condition in which a person hallucinates that their phone is vibrating or has received a message. A UI, a UI icon will inform you when Naomi's PC gets a new email, so feel free to return home and check your mail whenever you like. Okay. E! E, 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 e. Dear Miss Naomi Hayward, Sorry for the rather sudden email. It's me, E. Oh god, no. You're right, it does have that energy though. It really does. There's no need to bother yourself with the details, such as where I got your address from. Remember, you're in Rainy Woods, the happiest town in the world. Just relax and indulge in the happiness. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to send you messages every so often. If you'd like to go a step further and try to maintain your connection with the other world, please upload certain photos to Flamingo just to let me know we're on the same page. For the first photo, hmm. Oh, I know. I want to see something cute and fluffy. Upload a photo to Flamingo that fits that hot word, will you? I believe in you, Naomi. Sincerely, E. 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 Salt! Stop that! Salt! Oh! Stop it! P.S. Teehee, I bet you're reading this right now and going, Ugh, this is so creepy. The other world. Save for later. I'm, I'm trying to fucking do a mission right now. E. Who the hell is E? Nope. What's the other world? This sounds Honestly, really fishy. Naomi. You were supposed to say E. More like creep E. I hate this narrator. Hot words. Yeah, I already know about hot words. E. 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 Can I get a vibrant gardens photo like right here? No. See, I don't know what the point of including a stamina bar is as a cat. Because I can just jump. Oh, that's right. I can do this. If I hold the, the run button and then just constantly jump, I never run out of stamina. And I move at the same speed. It's so dumb. It's so frustrating. E. This place, does this have a fireplace? It does. Found some stuff on Shad. Fire. Fireplace. You'll lose one hour of energy? Fuck that! Last year his art has kind of taken a backseat, not drawing much. He got addicted to heroin and has been acting weird and shit. Holy fuck! 
That's insane. Unfortunate. Buzz. You guys, you guys ever hear about Buzzcoin? Oh fuck, I forgot I have to upload the dead body picture. Tags, old sword, Elizabeth's corpse. Apparently the weapon he had was a fully automatic machine gun, which he had drawn all over. <laughs> but that's not confirmed yet. Fucking Christ. Dude went off the fucking deep end. I, don't, I gotta remember what my other buzzwords are. Uh, I've already done antique cameras. Vibrant gardens? I don't know where to find that one. Maybe, maybe right there. Nope. I don't know what that fulfilled, but it's a frog. That's right, cute and fluffy. I can scavenge through trash cans as a dog. It's sad that this has better graphics than Sword and Shield, does it? Do I just like, why, why couldn't I fuck with this? There we go. This dog is uncanny. Hey kid, ever had your butt sniffed by a dog before? You wanna? Do 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 do. Does the cat have a little X marked butthole? No fucking garbage game. Can't believe the censorship even got to this game. I can't believe they censored the penguins in Mario Party. How could they do something like that? This game is for babies? Someone got murdered in this game! It is most definitely not for babies! The bitch had a sword through her fucking stomach. Is this cute and fluffy? I don't know. I would say it is.
cool. It's you. Cool. It's you. So far, this town's looking pretty cool. British. The names, it's however, you. are not. <laughs> That's funny. Not surprising. I need one more rubber for the sandals. Chick bag. What sort of last name is Yeats? All pepper. Lately, Pepper Pepper has my cat Pepper has this little like mouse toy. It's like just like a little like like stuffed mouse. It's very small. And it's her favorite toy. And and lately she's up in the morning by dropping it on top of me. Very cute. And then we play fetch for a while. And then I'll go back to sleep. Lonette Burley. Holy shit, she's got some hair. <laughs> Welcome to Burley's farm. What can I do for you, love? Hey there, came to ask you some questions about you and your farm if you don't mind. Hold on a sec. An ordinary an ordinary old farm like mine. You must have some pretty interesting taste. Yeah, and her boobs ain't half bad either. I guess. Dude, look at those washboard abs, though. Holy shit. Bro, she's got a cum gutters. It may not be as ordinary as you think. Now, about that logo of yours. Yeah. Ah, so that's what this is all about. This logo, or crest rather, is actually something that's been passed down in Rainy Woods for some time now. Apparently, it was first used by the nobles who lived in the old castle on the lake. After a while, the crest started being used on any and all products that met their standards. Kinda like a seal of quality. That's right, but apparently the regulations were rather lenient. So there are other people who use the crest besides you? Quite a few, actually. The respected seal of approval even now, despite the noble's family line falling apart a long, long while ago. <laughs> Y'all are welcome to go and see my sheep for yourself if you like. Oh, and make sure you try a sip of our fresh sheep's milk, too. Alright, maybe later. By the way... Yeah? You wouldn't happen to be able to run over 320 kilometers an hour, would you? Hold on a sec! Hold on a sec! <laughs> You're a comedian! I may be pretty strong, love, but there's no way y'all see me running that fast. <laughs> Phew, that was a good one. I thought I was going to die laughing. 320 kilometers an hour. Is it really that funny? Is it really that funny, though? I don't think it's that funny. Nope. Yeah, I figured she'd say that, honestly. I don't really buy it myself. But at least I won't be leaving empty-handed. Nobles lived in the old castle on the lake. That's what she said, right? There's one thing I know about old castles. It's that they've usually got treasure hidden inside them. <laughs> Looks like Lady Luck's finally on my side for once. I'm gonna nab that treasure and pay off my entire debt in one fell swoop. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Hell yeah! Here I come, Ancient Castle. Your treasure's all mine now. What? Route A. Event Horizon. What, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Damn, look at those fucking abs. Great cheese. My abs are so hard you can grate cheese on them. <laughs> I 
I love Clone High so much. Bam! <laughs> Did you see the pool? They flipped the bitch! <laughs> God, that show is so good. Alright, time to get some sheep milk. Let me just... <laughs> they, they did not consent! The fuck? Quail meat. Hell yeah. Assorted plumage. Wood mouse meat. I just realized that my hunger bar fills up as I, like, kill these random animals. Oh! What? What? Fuck it, let's donate. After you make your first offering to a shrine, you can then choose whether you want to make further offerings to the dogs or the cats. These will determine which way Naomi ends up tilting her dog or cat. Gage. Your interaction with the townspeople will also change depending on which way to Naomi's tilting. Oracle? What the hell? Why am I hearing voices in my head now? The Obliterator? Holy fuck! Listening to oracles at shrines will allow you to undertake missions that can earn you different rewards. A week after you accept one mission, you'll be able to undertake a new one from the same shrine. Are you crazy enough to visit every shrine and complete all the missions? Nope! I'm crazy enough to play this game, and that's enough. Dill seed. <sighs> what recovers my health? Oh, vitality pills. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just take some vitality pills. I guess I'll wait to drink the dead bull. Greetings. Don't look at the TV so close, her eyes will turn square. <laughs> the eyes are weird in this game. Is something the matter, madam? Why is she he a goat? Whoa, you scared me. Who the hell are you? Greetings. Samuel S. Bergman, madam. Wandering butler extraordinaire. Wandering butler? Never heard of that profession. Ooh. It's rather popular one of these in these parts. Refined over decades and decades of tradition, I might add. All old guys in England look like this. Okay. Good to know. Nothing out of ordinary here then. Alright, well what do you want, Mr. Wandering Butler? I saw you were attempting to enter the Bloodwoods property, so I thought it proper to reach out to you. Oh, so this is private property. Of course. Indeed. The whole area, I'm afraid, but if you wish to enter for a noble reason, 
I have the authority to grant you passage. Seriously? Perfect. Then we're all set. Don't tell him about the treasure. <laughs> Excellent. Then we may begin with your trials at once. From this point forward, madam, you are to become a knight of rainy woods. Hmm? A knight of rainy woods? Oh, there's no need to overthink. All that is required of you is to complete the three trials for me. Complete them and you will become a genuine knight of rainy woods. <laughs> thus gaining free passage to this property at your leisure. That does sound pretty easy. Oh, Pepper. That does sound pretty easy. All right, hurry up and do the three trials or whatever. Oh. How simple and to point you are, madam. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my best traits. Right then, without further ado, let us begin the first trial. Any good knight must first learn how to properly ride a sheep. Hmm? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> He's gonna make her fuck him. Not a horse? A sheep! The first step to becoming a proper knight is to encounter a proper sheep. Lucky for you, there's one standing right in front of you. Sheep flute. A flute that can reach the heart of any sheep. It'll let me tame sheep and summon them back to me later. Use it to shape tame the sheep that you fancy most. Mount it, then ride it back to me here, please. <laughs> okay, leave it to me. And secondly, once you ride the sheep back here, you must find a dog and cat to fuck the sheep. Wild sheep are vicious. To tame one, you'll need to lower its obstinance. Transform into a dog, then bark up a storm until the sheep's obstinance drops low enough. Once the sheep's low enough of its obstinance, you'll need to do that. All you need to do is close the entertainment and you can start riding it as you like. There are sheeps right over here? No, these are goats. Right? That's not a sheep. That's not a goat either, though. Is this a sheep? It is a sheep. I want this one. Okay then. Damn! The sheep are fast as fuck! So, Mr. Butler, what do you think? Pretty nice sheep, ain't it? Marvelous work, madam. Now for the second trial, you shall ask master the art of sheepmanship. A must for any proper knight. <laughs> the sheep is timid as hell, yeah. The I mean, I, I feel like the wording was just wrong there, because the sheep ran away every single time. Like, it didn't run towards me or attack me or anything. That, sh that thing just ran for the fucking hills. Sheepmanship? Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Child's play for any true knight, mind you. The more progress you make, the cooler a knight you shall become. <laughs> Seriously? Hell yeah, I feel super motivated now. Now, madam, please mount your fluffy steed. Don't worry, Yellow, this is England. You just ride the sheep. <laughs> Fucking the sheep only happens in Wales. <laughs> Good to know. Then charge it into that barrel over there with a tremendous coup de boule or headbutt. Yeah, baby. One sheep charge coming up, baby. I hate when she says that. Headbutt barrels to destroy them, which may sometimes cause various items to fall out. Now we begin, madam. Charge your sheep yeah, into the barrel. God fucking Christ, she keeps saying it. She just keeps saying it. Alright. Warning, please destroy things safely so that you don't injure other people or animals. Yeah, 
Me. Me. What is this image? Go whales, go! Oh my god. Now let us proceed with the third trial. You sure are going fast. Simply matching the speed to the speed of the times, madam. Now currently your steed is as wild as wild can be. Of course you are free to continue riding it until you have no further use of it, upon which it will flee. But nary a wild steed could ever stand up to the likes of a personal steed or a military steed. Military steeds? Since long ago, cats have been taken aboard sea vessels while canines and horses have been used in battle. It was only a matter of time before humans acquired the wisdom necessary to incorporate sheep into battle as well. Sheepmanship sounds like a really deep art. First, let's have you entrust one of your sheep to Burley's farm. Once entrusted, you may call the sheep back out at any time. Care for your sheep correctly and it will surely be kind of one of your most trusted champions. Yeah. Okay, I'll give it a try. If you enter a pasture at Burley's farm while riding a sheep, you'll be able to send it to the farms. Any sheep you send to the farm will remain yours and you can always register a new sheep you're riding. The barn can only house so many sheep, so be careful. When you're ready to mount the steed, simply press down and off you go. Lonette will shear your sheep periodically if you ask her to, which is why way faster than trimming each one by hand. Can I just ram into you? Yep. It didn't do anything, but yes, I can ram into him. Dude, the, if you fucking bump into a wall, the sheep just does a fucking hop. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, baby. I hate this. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Don't tell me this is going to be a fucking dead end. Oh my god. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. When you want to get past the wall, you first need to locate its checkpoint, and then all you need to do is pay the necessary toll. You'll be seen as how you're the only one going, who's going trudging through other people's lands. Don't you feel it's a polite thing to- No! Where'd the sheep go? <laughs> oh, it's right there. I didn't see it for a sec. Yeah, baby! Hey up, love. Welcome to Burley's farm. Got room for another sheep? This butler guy told me to bring one to you. Ugh. <laughs> Everyone knows each other around here. In fact, you'd be hard pressed to find anyone whose business we didn't know. So basically, your typical backwoods town. Should have known. Now to think up of a name Christmas Dinner. I like that name. Keep Sheep. Keep Thinking. Is that a name? Mary, no. Master bookend, keep thinking. Sinking of the lambs, Schrodinger sheep, Frosty. Supernova Bob. I chose Supernova Bob. Your sheep is safe and sound here, love. So feel free to tend to it and take it back out whenever you like. Oh god. I made a game with zombies in it. I it, this is the uh 
This is that game made by the guy who made the dishwasher, right? If you'd like to shear it yourself, just head over and over to the pasture. Here, take these sheep clippers and sheep brush with you. Call them a gift from me. You can try brushing them too if you want. Okay, but are you sure it's okay to let an amateur shear a sheep? Oh, it won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll do fine with a touch of elbow grease and love, of course. Why does this lady have a J.O. arm? I think she's got two, doesn't she? Does she only have one super buff arm? That'd be pretty funny. Three trials complete. Where is she? Why is this truck so small? It seems small. Her other arm is thin. Yeah, you know what? I don't I don't know. I don't know why she's got a jerk off arm. Of course. Excellent work, madam. With this, you have completed the minimum necessary to become a knight of Rainy Woods. So I can finally head onto the blue bl blood woods land now? No, no, madam. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Why not? I completed the three trials, didn't I? It pains me to say this, but your current attire leaves much to be desired. You just don't got no drip. And you don't get bitches if you don't have drip. What? Hey, these may be off the rack, but they're still brand names. In order to enter the Bloodwoods property, you need to adorn yourself in chick formal dress. Ugh, hearing the word formal just made my stomach hurt. Besides, I thought the Bloodwoods family fell to ruin a long time ago. Oh, Who's gonna care what kind of clothes I wear? No. Fell to ruin? Poppycock! The Bloodwoods noble line still reigns over all of Rainy Woods. Really? Oh, wait. You mean that Rudman White's a descendant of Bloodwoods? Preposterous! That Novell Rich would never fit to be would never be fit to bear the Bloodwood name. Yeesh, relax, man. Anyway, I don't care, just as long as I can get inside that castle. Now hurry up and tell me what else I need to do. There is a wonderful clothing shop in Rainy Woods called Fancy and Bunny. Perhaps asking Lady Yeats to prepare your garments. Prepare you garments fit for the Bloodwoods would be the wisest course of action. <laughs> oh, Virginia's place. Okay, I'll head straight there. Good day to you. In the meantime, I'll wait for you at the gate to the grounds. You know that gif of the Joker? Of like someone dressed up as the Joker like flying across the room and like sliding all crazy? I, my cat just did that and I'm very confused. <laughs> like they they just like came out of nowhere oh pepper oh my sweet pepper I love that kitty oh She's so good at fetch. I don't know how she... I don't know how... She... Oh, uh, sorry. I'm a bit indisposed right now. Mind coming back later? This seems like a pretty happy scarecrow. I feel like I should be running around the town as a dog because I can just like rummage through trash cans.
Roberto. Glass bead. This song that's playing, like, gives me a feeling of, like, I should be discovering something. But there's nothing to discover. I don't even see other people right now. I'll play with you when you cry like that. Oh, I don't want my sheep. Here comes a sheep. Maybe you'll count as cute and fluffy. <laughs> Cats can actually kill sheep here. Shit, look at how many likes the fucking dead body picture is getting. Why are people like this? Yo, dead body? Poggers! Preggers, dude! Preggers! Preggers! Dead body hype! I don't understand the point of showering or beautifying in this game. The sheep just stood out here all night. I don't understand why this game would not just like auto put you on the plants tab or only show the seeds you can plant.
Why are there sparkles all around me? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Hey! Yo! You awake? Oh, it's you. No, what do you want? Uh, it's a bit of a long story. Chick formal dress, huh? You should just wear a dress then. Oh, but you could probably pull off a tuxedo too. Mm, well, that's the thing. I'm not sure what sort of outfit would be most appropriate. I need something more old, decrepit, castle-y? How am I supposed to know what kind of clothes the Bloodwoods like? Probably the kind of stuff you see on Downtown Abbey, right? Oh, oh this is for the Bloodwoods. What? What's that face mean? Oh, nothing. Just forget I said anything. Hmm. What about a dress with a ruff? That'd probably be the smartest choice for where you're headed. I'm just an amateur here, so I'll trust the pro on this one. <sighs> if you say so. Not that it's any of my business. I'm not the one who's going to be wearing it. The only problem is, I'm going to need some special materials if I'm to whip up an old-fashioned dress like that. I'll need two paces of wool felt, two gold nuggets, and three glass beads. Gold nuggets? Where am I supposed to find gold? Probably need some liquid vitae to treat it all. Seriously? Oof. I wasn't expecting this to be such a pain in the ass. Oh, oh well, it's been a while since I've gotten such a large order. But alright, I'll give you a bulk order discount. Your responsibility, responsibility to gather up the materials, though. Uh, okay, uh, rocks, sheep, and weird liquid. Just leave it to me. I need wool felt. I need to shear shear some sheep. Ten gallon. Ten gallon hat. Not actually big enough to hold ten gallons of water. What a fucking scam. I guess he only came here because he wanted to see me. <laughs> Yang, 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 yang. Overflowing gardens, sweet desserts, Sunday scenery. Mustachioed gentlemen, what the fuck is Sunday scenery? This man looks so sad. See, there'll be a really artsy photo where he's so far away, but centered to make him look even smaller than normal. I can't reach it. Mm -hmm. How may I help thee? I need some materials! Hey! Yo, Chrome Dome! I need you to give me some gold nuggets and glass beads, alright? Be fair. Thou wouldst make me a mundane merchant. I devil not in such paltry sundries. I'm a builder. I'll be gone. Seriously? Damn, he fucking told her. What a bitch. Wait, then where can I get them? Hmm. Mm. Gold nuggets may be excavated from caves and quarries, should thy luck prove fair and warranted. Trudge west from town, center, along the hotel road, and it shall lead thee to Whiskert Cave. Turn north at that path, and thou shalt instead guide thyself to Blankarrick Quarry. Mm -hmm. Prithee, purchase a pickaxe from me, if thou art in need of one. As for glass beads, Thou need not purchase them. Such trinkets can't be easily procured from rubbish bins.
There will be. Also, all Englishmen wear full armor while... Full armor for working in craft. That seems like the best part about about living here. You can you can just that's part of your work attire, just a full suit of armor. Oh fuck, what did he say? West of town center? Oh pepper. The west. Oh pepper. My sweet Beppy, you know. I don't have it anymore! Then go north. The fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What was that sound? What the fuck? Oh god. Stick a fork in me. Naomi, what are you doing? Game over? Killed by exhaustion. I didn't even see the fucking badger. You've simply got to start taking better care of yourself, Hayward. Damn you! Where'd all my money go? I thought you guys had free health care. Really, no. Hmm. Isn't your survival worth that much to you? Max stamina went down. It's Friday. You caught a cold. Living an unhealthy life will turn your body into the perfect breeding ground for bacteria and illnesses. Eat well, sleep well, and relieve your stress in order to stay healthy in both body and mind. I mean, I'm fucking sick right now. Where's Dr. George in the hospital? Is th This is not the hospital. Where's the hospital? This is the only hospital. How much money did I even lose? I don't even know. I lost like a hundred bucks! For getting fucking cheesed out by a goddamn badger! This shit sucks. Oh my god, it's way the fuck up here? Holy shit. It's so far. Man, how's it going? Let's trade. You don't have anything to trade. Oh, he only... Okay. I thought he was, like, selling the stuff. 
but he had to make it out of other things for some reason. I was like, what the fuck? Also, all of his deals are terrible. He needs five of one thing for one of another. Romney sheep are nocturnal animal life? Okay then. I'm not gonna complain or argue. Hey, yo, ain't this that guy from, uh, fucking, from fucking, uh, cockles? Type of clam that's smaller and sweeter than manila clams can be boiled, steamed, cooked, and added to a variety of dishes. Ain't this that guy from the balloon movie? I just want to break boxes for a sec. Sorry. Can I collect stuff while on the sheep? I cannot. Slot reels. Reels from an old slot machine can be used as material as a material for a garden decoration. Supernova Bob. No pay here. An outdoor kitchen, but it looks like you'll need to cough up some catch if you need it. Fine. Okay, so why does it say no pay here? The sign specifically says no pay. Pay, no, no need. Pay here, nope. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I'm sorry, but the uh, the stamina regenerates if you get off the sheep and then get back on it really quick. So, so you're going to be hearing this a lot. Unfortunately, I need to go left here.
Oh, I'm gonna raid this person's garden. Fuck yeah. <laughs> See ya, bitch! Kill that squirrel. Oh, look, a shrine. A hundred? Fuck that! Yeah, you just yeah, know. Baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Bronze nugget. Can I just fucking ride this sheep off the ledge? He's fucking crazy. Oh yeah, I hate the dash sound too. Woohoo! Why can you just fucking ride the sheep off a ledge and be fine? Play used in pottery. Cornwall is blah, 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 blah. Tony Hawk Pro Goater? Dude, just give me a fucking gold nugget already. You need to go gold digging for gold nuggets. What the fuck? Why'd the one motherfucker just told me tell me I can just go to the quarry? What a dickhead! Oh my god, you're so fucking stupid. See, this must be where the gold is. It's nice and high up. How the fuck? How the fuck? How do I get up there? Oh. Oh. Gold nugget! Yeah, that it took me a while to, on that one. That was a good one. Stone material? That's not a gold nugget.
<laughs> the cats are gonna be like, yo, what the fuck? Stop meowing. Stop! Stop! <laughs> All right. Small diamond. Oh, hell yeah. Damn, two gold nuggets out of that one? How now, brown mouse? Yeah, baby! <laughs> Fucking sheep just hits the ground and falls over. Is that the Pokemon game? <laughs> the Pokemon gun game? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about? You having a fucking episode? Fucking destroy this quail. Where the fuck am I going now? Uh, Pokemon sword, Pokemon shield, Pokemon gun. Yeah, this is Pokemon Gun. You actually shoot things. Handling level up. Yo, I got a sick turning radius now. I, I, I wish I knew what you were talking about. Oh no. There's a trailer. I hate this character. How do they make- How do you go from making the most lovable fucking character ever to a character I- I wish did never existed? Big ass turkey? Turkey plume. How bad is she? She's just- annoying I just hate her I don't like her she's, she's a fucking brat she's 50 million dollars fifth not even dollars 50 million pounds in debt and still thinks that she's deserves anything from anyone I fucking hate this character oh god all right Howl world? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon gun? Look, it's got the sheep shearing. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this seems kind of sick. You can use him. You can use him as a shield. I'm into it. I'll, I'm gonna be honest. Dude, this looks tight as fuck. Holy shit! They just electrocuted the water! This looks tight as fuck. I'm gonna- I'm- I'll be honest. Yeah, I didn't show the trailer on- I didn't put it on stream. 
I was kind of skipping through it too. I vaguely remember seeing something about that game. Baggie of white powder. Um, okay, then. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh my god, you can kill sheep in this game! How do I shear my sheep? Is that a fox? Foxes kill cats, generally. Oh fuck, I wanna die again! Is this what foxes sound like? Why am I bullying the melee player? <laughs> you know, they considering that that melee player was standing around in the rain, they're probably one of the good ones. They couldn't have been that stinky. Boxes sound a bit more high pitched and growly. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, I finally got that turbid stat sap I was looking for. They're kind of like hyperactive middle-sized dogs. Foxes are pretty cute. There's just like a million fucking badgers. Why are there so many? What the fuck? Fuck! Why can they hit me in the dialogue menus? Hey, what the what fuck? Why is this game such a piece of shit? Damn you! Really no. That's somewhat true of English countryside, but Swery has normal badgers and honey badgers mixed up. <laughs> Not surprising.
Normal badgers legit just want nothing to do with people. <laughs> That's understandable. So I fucking wasted the 10 money units to, to warp home and then I fucking died anyways. This game is such a piece of shit. I don't understand why things deal so much damage. Like, I have five health, but everything deals at least like two and a half blocks of health. Why did this only get one like? It's a buzzword. Look at this side sheep. That's a good sheep. Comes a sheep. How may I help thee? <laughs> the other world complete. So whatever photo I uploaded, maybe it was the sheep photo that I uploaded that got the cute and fluffy tag. Is that the lobster guy? David O'Reilly? He's got a fucking knife in his back pocket? Jesus. I can just fucking plow into people. Die! <laughs> I can just run this sheep into places of business. Now I have more attack. Fake luxury watch. I'll buy you, buy you, buy you. I'll buy you, buy you, buy you a real one when you make your big break, said my friend when she gave me this cheap knockoff. I wonder where she is right now. Is that motherfucking dairy milk? Wait, what? Oh, right there? Milk? Milk. I don't know what dairy- what the fuck is dairy milk?
Okay. <laughs> yep, that's definitely it. going which is house pharmacy fuck it yeah we'll go there now it's gonna be faster if I just cut across the grass I need meds. Hey. Yo, Granny, I'm in a bit of a bind here. See, the thing is. Wop, 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 wop. Oh, you need some liquid vitae? Well, I can certainly throw some together. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid of that. You roll my log. I'll roll yours. Bring me the ingredients and I'll make you whatever you like. Sweet art. Oh, look, I already have all the ingredients. Wow, you really are pro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I caught a dubious looking liquid. Wrong game, you dozy mare. <laughs> 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 Sorry, couldn't help myself. Bro, I already got the liquid vitae. What are you talking about? Ugh. Yes, I already made one. I'm just like looking at an ultimate potion. I need some meth, Grandma. No questions asked. <laughs> Here, <laughs> I brought this white powder. Just make it work. Yeah, baby. Why did they choose that? Why did they even choose that? Why did they choose that over nothing? Hey, yo. hey yo. I'm here to shop. Yeah. But if you're fancy saving yourself a bit of dosh, you know you could get that stuff by shearing your own sheep, right? Say so you're better off gathering felt by shearing your own sheep out in the pasture. Or did you forget all about those clippers I gave you? Oh, so that's what those were for. I mean, I know there are some lazy bums out there who can't be bothered to shear their own sheep. Though if you really want to pay me for it, I ain't gonna complain. I have all you need right here. Okay, how do I take my sheep to the fucking pasture? 
take it in here. Look. Fluffiness. Not a very good fluffiness. Can I raise that up a bit, maybe? <laughs> Get on the ground! Stop resisting! Where are other sheep? Are there other sheep I can shear? I don't see any wild sheep around. This means I gotta start just like taking wild sheep and bringing them back. So much. Actually, I want to fucking ride my sheep. Here comes a sheep. Supernova Bob. Is that a good sheep name? Called it Ram Rammy Butt. Oh, it's you. Yes. Oh, it's so expensive. I don't have that kind of money. I'm sorry, but I don't work for exposure. Haha. <laughs> Get it? With a capital second M. That's a good that's a good name for your RAM. For your goat, not a ram. Yeah, baby. Buzz, buzz. How do I, hello? How do I, oh, you mean I can't fucking, how do I pull money from this account? Hello? I would like my money. Oh, I gotta go to an ATM. <laughs> Virginia Yeats. Yo, 20,000 likes on the dead body? Hell yeah! Let's go. E. Dear Miss Naomi Award, this is E. You may be thinking that my emails are creepy or that they're just spam, but there's no use in getting hung up on such things. After all, you're living in a rainy woods, the happier that anything can happen. Just accept everything as it comes and make sure you enjoy it while you do. Anyway, Naomi. If you don't mind, I'd like to continue sending messages to you this way. After all, over here it's dark, and I don't have any friends. It's actually quite lonely. You don't mind, do you? Oh, there is one problem, though. I can't tell whether or not you're actually reading my messages. So in order to let me know it's okay for me to continue, would you take a photo that contains the following items and upload it to Flamingo? That should be enough to confirm to me that we're okay to keep communicating this way. Please try to stay positive, okay? Items that should be in the photo. Striped deck chair, beach ball, beach parasol, and a side table. Sincerely, E. E.
How did she even get into this much debt? No idea. They have not told us. Yes. You definitely didn't spend it on fucking cameras. Because our camera is a piece of shit. It shoots in black and white. Oh. The camera we're currently using, we got for free. And she complained about it. Help me out here. I'll be out here? <laughs> wow, you really are a pro. Oh, never thought I'd have to make one of these. Wow, that was quick. You finished it already. Do you want to put it on here? You can use my wardrobe if you want. <laughs> And help you close up the back if you'd like. Hey, so... Hey, so do you know anything about the Bloodwoods? When I first ordered the dress, you made a weird face when I mentioned their name. Well, look at you with a good memory. Yes, I do know about them, but only in passing. All the faces in this game. From what I heard, though, the Bloodwood family fell to ruin a long time ago. But that wandering butler guy said they still own the land. <laughs> well, everyone's free to believe whatever they want, aren't they? According to what Elizabeth told me, everyone in Rainy Woods used to be peasants who lived in the fief of the Bloodwoods estate. Peasants along with the nobles who inherited Bloodwood blood, that is. Though it wouldn't surprise me if there are still Bloodwoods living to this day. Yeah, that makes sense. But if it's true, why haven't I ever met anyone with the last name Bloodwood? Well, according to what I learned, heard, the old landowners went over to America at some point. In 1840, records showed someone in New York with the name Bloodwood minus the E. Seriously? There only seemed to be a record of one family, though, and nothing more than that. Either way, it's all just a story from a very long time ago. If you really intend on heading to the castle, you'd better be careful. Now you're warning me all of a sudden? There are loads of stories about people seeing ghosts around there. Seriously? Seriously? A g -g 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 dead guys? <laughs> and shadows that move faster than the human eye can follow. Hey, maybe that's what they saw in the photograph of Elizabeth's body. Of course, what would an old castle be without a ghost or two? Just be extra careful and I'm sure you'll Seriously? be fine. Are you kidding me? No, I'm actually scared for real. Wait, so if I wear this, I still get the stamina boost. I still keep all my other stat boosts, I think. This is so lazy. Look at, look at, they just like, they put on all your other default equipment because they didn't want to fucking figure out how to make it work or something. I don't know. I can't believe I backed this game. Damn, look at that dump truck ass though. Yes, why else would I own this game? You think I would buy this? What the fuck? Yo, duck. High quality feather. Die. Duck breast. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was just time and dill.
Sorry, game, no matter how dumpy her ass, she's still annoying as fuck. Yeah. yeah baby. Look at this fucking power stance. Coriander. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. work, madam. In order to commemorate your beauty, I would like to share an old Eastern proverb. Fine feathers make fine birds. Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but thanks. Now, I hereby grant you permission to enter Bloodwood property. With this key, you will have free passage throughout the entire lake area. Ooh, this is a pretty cool key. Very classic design. I've got some questions about the Bloodwoods, though. Huh? Mr. Butler? What the... What, what the... just happened? The what Butler the... Just disappeared. Was he a ghost? <laughs> Why are you fucking going freaking out? Why is him disappearing the thing that fucking broke you? And not the fact that he looks like a fucking sheep. Lobster. <laughs> La lobster. Holy moly, yuppie. What the? Oh my god, what the hell are you wearing? Wow! Oh man, I'm gonna die! I can't take it! This is... Now you got something you can brag about for the rest of your damn life! I mean, come on! You managed to interrupt my lobster pose by making me piss my pants laughing! Oh man, this is just too funny! I gotta take a picture to commemorate this. D did you see that pelvic thrust? He's just taking a picture of his t of her tits. Say cheese. And give me a cool pose. He's taking like a super zoom in of her tits and nothing else. And now he's taking a picture of her dump truck ass. Doodle Will is a photographer. Whoa! She's wowing, dude! She's wowing! We gotta stop her! Now that's what you call a freaking picture! This is gonna get so much buzz! <laughs> Thanks a million, yuppie! Never thought the journalist in the biggest need of a scoop would just end up becoming one herself! Guar! Ever heard of this one? Many go out for wool and come home shorn. Man, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. Have funny at your little cosplay party. <laughs> I need to hurry up and end this stupid cosplay mission before things get any worse. Breaching the lake. British people don't say cosplay. What do they say? Do they say play a role? Oh, yeah. I should probably take a picture from my report.
Costume play? The shadow I caught with my photo of Elizabeth's body. That must have been the ghost that Virginia was talking about. This is bad. Really bad. But every old castle's got some treasure hidden inside it. Nothing can convince me otherwise. There's no turning back now. I'm going to become a millionaire overnight and pay off my debt. Yeah. I'm coming for you, secret treasure. I don't think becoming a millionaire is going to help. It'll put a small dent into, into your debt. It'll knock out a whopping 2% of your debt if you become a millionaire. I got button mushrooms. <laughs> Nani? M m m masaka. <laughs> oh fuck! It's a badger. Here comes a sheep. Oh, I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna kill one of the sheep and tame the other one. Oh god, it's got health! Help! You're going to bed, this is stupid. I can't blame you. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Killing this fucking rabbit. It disappeared. Seriously? They lived out in the middle of nowhere, so they just built their own damn arches. That's the Burly Farm logo. Or the Bloodwood Crest, I guess. Reminds me of a friend I had who used to go by Cross True Darkness Cross online. I bet she'd love this. You want to draw spite part of her getting cucked by Lobster Man? Lobster. Welcome to Bloodwood Yard. <laughs> I hope True Darkness is still out there kicking ass wherever she is. Welcome to Bloodwood. I think she sent me a message a while back talking about how she got married or something. Welcome. <laughs> she had the ultimate goth wardrobe. Wonder if she still has all that stuff. How are you faring? Welcome! Seriously? Whoa, a knight! Welcome to Bloodwood Yard. Uh, hi? Squeaky voice. You're Douglas McAvoy, the carpenter, right? Jeez, man, don't scare me like that. Mr. Samuel told me of... Told me of thy tale. Oh, Mr. Samuel told me of thy tale. 
thou art to rise to nightdom, thou must complete my night's trials. Hmm? Night's trials? Art thou prepared to embark on the first trial? This trial shall test thy mastery of sheepmanship. Undergo the trial. Fuck it. Who gives a shit anymore? Yeah, baby. Okay, let's go. Yeah, baby. Does finger gun to her head. None of this shit makes sense. Thy spirit is well met, my lady. We shall begin the trial anon. Excuse me? This guy sounds infinitely less cool than I was making him sound. Reach the goal before time runs out. Running into things will slow you down, so you'll need to skillfully steal yourself away. And I can just... Or you can just fucking charge through him. Never mind, what the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Woohoo! You see that sick jump? Mm -hmm. Bravo, Squire Hayward. Sorry, it's more like, Bravo, Squire Hayward. The proud control of thy sheepmanship mastery hath shaken my very core. Yeah. That was easy. I'm going to become a knight before you know what hits you. No. Say thine arrogance, for twas that very devil which rainted the house of Bloodwood. Hmm? Ruinated, not rainted. Say what now? The House of Bloodwood once overmastered all of Rainy Woods. With opulency so profound that not even a burger of London could swing at them. <sighs> Alack, this it swelled them. Twas a year of rain most direful, harbinger of meager harvest. Ergo, the commoners beseeched of their masters a clement taxation. To this cooleary, the Bloodwoods did reply with perfidious reprisal. To a head, the black horse impaled every last beseecher while vigor still rattled their limbs. Seriously? Can't be serious. High-blown pride maketh one see brothers as toads. But a knight, oh, a knight. A knight knoweth a chain of joy to be a necklace of blessings bestowed by one's families. So the arrogant Bloodwood family ended up drowning in their own blood, huh? Alas, tis but a tale of yore. Said. Stand forth and let us hurry on to the next arch. A new trial awaiteth thee, Squire Hayward. The obliterator. <laughs> Thanks, as always. I got 80 cash for that, apparently. Well, I lost my other sheep, so that's fun. <laughs> Oh, this is a low gear road. Scarab, a dazzling golden bug, just holding it in my hands makes me feel like I'm gonna get rich soon. Gonna be using concoctions.
All right, time to get the sheep from the top rope. Never mind. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! These things are really incredible. But something does feel off about them. How you faring? Thy first trial swelled with resplendent spire Hayward. Afore us standeth the gate to the second. What are you gonna make me do this time? Art thou prepared to brave the second trial? Here the truth worth of the sheepmanship mastery shall be put to the test. Yeah, baby! God, bring it on, Squeaky. His voice isn't even squeaky. Why is she, where is she getting that from? Stand to it, Squire Haywood. Snatch thy night sheet by thine own hand. Coffins? What the fuck? What's with the fucking coffins? Why does it give you so much time? Superlative, Squire Hayward. Thy sheepmanship is forsooth fit for battle. Battle? What's that supposed to mean? Certy, it is in thy metal is imperative. If thou wisheth not to suffer a fate semblable to the blood, semblable to the bloodwoods. What? Another tragedy? Long ago, at the zenith of the bloodwoods' reign, with the kingdom yet infant unfirm. The king's army outered as a convoction of each landowner's private men of arms. For what is an army but yet another tool of war? Like a warmonger marcheth out to battle naturally with the mind to return home triumphant. So too doth the landowner dream eternally of dominion over the strongest army. Ergo, the house of Bloodward devised a dark stratagem. The conjuration of a soldier, what could never die? Seriously? Fear, tis the greatest enemy of a soldier in battle. The gore-struck fear of death doth spread like a plague, infecting entire armies. But couldst thou fear death if it proved unable to take thee? Nay, for thou couldst not die. Now that sounds like hell all right. Alas, tis all but a tale of yore. Come, a pace, Squire Hayward. A new trial awaiteth. Power level up. Here comes, here comes a sheep. Yeah, baby. We gotta get them sheep. Some big ass cows.
is just as breathtaking as the rest of them. It's beautiful and everything, but why do I keep feeling like I'm in a big amusement park? How are you faring? Thy second trial swelleth with resplendence, Squire Hayward. Afore us standeth the gate to the second. Some script you memorized or something? The soft, I pray thee. Art thou prepared to confront the third trial? The, uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll test the same thing you've been testing this whole time. Yeah, baby! I've never heard of knight sheepmanship before, but fine, let's get this show on the road. Thy spirit is well met, lady. We shall begin the trial anon. Yeah, baby! Golden Squire Hayward. Sometimes a knight must march a knight. They s thy sheepmanship shall carry thee through the black velvet. Well, knight or not, I'm sure as hell not gonna work on a 24 hour schedule. A learned choice. Alas, the Bloodwoods chose poorly. Jeez, again, didn't those Bloodwood idiots ever do anything right? Who but the strong hath the metal to fail again and again? The quest for a new way to fail may forsooth serve as a sure method of survival. You've got a point. It's easy to try again as long as you've got the cash. Yet a further Bloodwood error. That with wealth were their coffers, but great fortune doth lust for further fortune. Much like a Sorella Liberty in this era might seek an estate fit for their status. And they, s they who seek new coin must labor for it. More labor meant more prosperity. Ergo, the house of Bloodwood sought a way to labor perjurably with utter absence of exhaustion, upon which thy devised a tool for far removed from fundamental vices such as opium and muscadel. Be upon t foe, for in the end, quaffing the blood of young virgins proved to be their chosen pleasure. Seriously? Even for a hellhole, that's crossing the line. Alas, tis but a tale of yore. Peace and get thee to the castle drawbridge. A new trial awaiteth. So they're just fucking vampires? What the fuck? Vampires can run at 350 miles kilometers per hour. Breeding up a storm. I don't know how I feel about that mission name. Music is pretty nice, but it's completely overshadowed by the yeah babies. It's awesome, baby. Whoa, that scared me. Or did it? 
Weird. Guess I've gotten a bit used to this high-speed ghost. Humans really can get bored of anything. Mm -hmm. Thou perform significantly in thy third trial, Squire Hayward. Henceforth, tis thy wisdom that shall be scrutinized. Ugh, this sounds like a pain in the ass. Knights don't need to be smart, do they? Preposterous. For what is a knight without wisdom, if not a bear in a suit of armor? Howbeit, were thou content with thy semblance as a bear knight, I shall stay my tongue. I don't want to be no damn bear knight. Mm -hmm. There go. I beseech thee to submit thyself to this trial. I have prepared four portraits, and each portrait hath a commoner of rainy woods been painted. But thricely doth these paintings betray the visage of a current commoner's progenitor. My task is to choose the lone painting that infallibly impainteth the visage of a current commoner. Commoner. What? But that sounds super easy. Prithee, look upon them, and thy tongue may yet turn. Seriously? But they all look normal. Yeah. Huh. Good now, Squire Hayward. Ring thy brains and overcome this trial of wisdom. Does Virginia have a mole? I don't fucking know. On the contrary, Squire Hayward, meager is thine understanding. Resemblance through there may be tis forsooth Virginia Yeats, great grandmother. Know thy neighbor and know them well. Go the way, Squire Hayward, and return hereafter. What? So can I just guess over and over? Mm -hmm. I'd guess Morris. That's the creepazoid in black from this time period, right? Okay. Tis the downer of five generations past, a dentist. Know thy neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Christ, this is so dumb. I don't even know the difference. I don't pay close enough attention to these people. I have had no reason to. <laughs> Strength and bring a lesson there. Mm -hmm. Thou wouldst do well to be think this truth if thou wisheth to prevail as a knight. Okay. Allow me to elucidate each portrait for thy learning. Portrait number one, Salome Macaulay, a former three a farmer three generations past. Portrait two, a Morris Morris Downer, a dentist five generations past. Portrait four, Virginia Yeats, great grandmother of the current Virginia. Seriously? Hold on a second, even their names are the same? You mean the downer from five generations ago was also named Morris Downer? Mm. Forsooth, you've the truth oft. Oft. Hath thee a further inquisition? Uh, no, I guess not. The way this is going, maybe they're act all actually the same person. No way, that's too crazy. Keep on, Squire Hayward. Providence awaiteth thee therein. Oh, he just popped out of existence. Man, it had a nice... Man, it had a goddamn pop. <sighs> Ugh, but I'm so close to nabbing a crap load of treasure. No, I can't give up here. There's got to be some way to lower that stupid drawbridge from this side. No self-respecting game would be caught dead without some secret switches Just hidden. Just to say, there. real castle drawbridges don't open from the outside. <sighs> yeah, here we go. See, I told you, game logic never fails. Okay. Uh, Reality is nothing like this. Sorry. So funny. I love how aware this game is that it's a game. Mm -hmm. 
If only it was fun. Like a game. Open sesame! <sighs> Won't budge. Looks like you need some help, love. Looks like you need some help, love. Wait, what the fuck? Why is she, you're, she oh, does geez. just have a fucking jerk off arm. Holy shit. Goddamn flicking the bean on OnlyFans this often? Fuck. Yeah, in more ways than one. Well, I don't mind lending a hand if you don't mind lending me one back. Seriously? What, really? Yeah. I heard you completed all of old Douglas's trials. So I thought, hey, maybe you really do have what it takes to unveil that castle's secrets. Seriously? Secrets? You mean like secret treasure? Thought that might be what gets you attention. Apparently, there's a secret treasure vault hidden under the castle itself. And it's got kegs in it stuck with the Bloodwood Crest. Kegs? Kegs of what? Vampire's blood. Seriously? What? You heard me. Kegs filled to the brim with vampire's blood. That's what I'm after. What the hell for? I'm a descendant of the Bloodwoods. Seriously? You mean I would have would have been calling you Duchess Lynette if your family hadn't shit the bed? <sighs> hey, pack it in. They're gone and what's done is done. Incidentally, Douglas is a descendant of the family of knights who used to serve my own family. And Samuel's a descendant of my family's servants. Jeez. Oh, so all three of you lied to me together in order to test me? Well, I wouldn't exactly put it that way, but yes. Well, I've got a favor to ask. Well, I've got a favor to ask you. I find anything in the castle other than those gross kegs. Of course, you can keep whatever else you find. That's a promise from the current head of the estate. What are you planning to do with all that vampire's blood anyway? Hunt down humans with an immortal army so you can suck down a bunch of virgin blood? I'm not trying to pry into your private affairs now, am I? And as such, I'd appreciate it if you didn't pry into mine. Does that sound fair? Yeah. Yeah. I'll sneak into the vault and get your vampire's blood, but I'm gonna make it worth my while, damn it. Oh yeah, so you can do something about this drawbridge? Sit back and watch. Douglas, it's go time. Ready, Douglas? On the count of three. At thy behest, Duchess. Don't call me that. One. Two. Three. And there's a magic barrier around the castle. <sighs> Don't even try it. Even I couldn't climb that. But normally it should go like you go up the castle, then some weird voice says, Welcome home, Duchess, and lets you right on through. <sighs> Don't you think it's about time you started acting like we're in the real world, love? Okay, fine. I mean, I'm not even a real gamer or anything. I was just saying. There's only one way to cross through the lucent facade. Forsooth! By thy pardon, I shall elucidate the details. Only the legendary sheep hath the power to transcend the lucent facade. Sheep? Trials of thy sheepmanship hath all been for this very purpose. Methinks the legendary sheep lurks hereabout. Encounter him, and tame him, and leap through the lucent facade. Yeah, this game is something fucking else. Find and tame the legendary golden sheep. It's more ferocious than any other sheep you've encountered thus far. You're going to need to get serious if you want to survive. It's Sunday.
Such fun and interactive gameplay. God, this game makes me feel ways. Man, that was so hard. I really needed to get serious to survive that one. Yeah, baby. That might have been the most difficult thing yeah, I've ever done baby. in any game ever. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Huh? When did I fall asleep? Rise and shine, Dame Hayward. Mr. Butler, how did you get here? You will understand everything in due time. More importantly, I'm here to confirm that the item my lady seeks is indeed stored in the underground treasure vault. Thus, I believe it'd be wise for you to head there first. Yeah, all right. Trying to figure this stuff out is a pain in the ass anyway. Save the thinking for later. Let us be off then, Dame Hayward. The fuck? What the hell? Geez, they really were having a cosplay party here. It's pretty damn serious for a party, though. How did they get through the Lucent facade? Is there some super obvious shortcut I missed? Ugh. It appears that there is to be a soiree tonight, Dame Hayward. Let us split up here. Oh, come on, man. That plan never works out. Not even video games. Dude, this character... This writing is so unlikable. <laughs> We simply need to keep our wits about us and we'll be fine. We will go and search for the entrance to the underground vault. While you, Dame Hayward, go and rub elbows with any noteworthy attendees we can squeeze information from. <clears throat> noteworthy? What's that supposed I to mean? Ask your assistance. I'm counting on you, Dame Hayward. He disappeared again. What's up with that guy? Come on, doesn't he know that talking to NPCs is the most boring part of any RPG? Goddamn hellhole, I want to go home already. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> doesn't it make it so much more okay if you make a joke about it? Doesn't that make it so much more funny? Doesn't it make the game just like quirky instead of boring? BAM! BAM! You can skip an address. Hey! Good day, madam. Do you do, dear? Oh, good day. Is this our first time meeting? 
If I've forgotten your countenance, please accept my apologies. We've been hosting so many guests as of late. It's all a bit too much for a fair country lady such as myself. Looks a lot like Salome Macaulay, but she's clearly someone else. Anyway, about the Bloodwoods. Pardon? Oh my, such a topic of conversation is best kept a hushed tone of voice. Ooh, but we gentlewoman now, isn't it? Really? Oh, fuck. Oh, I just stretch so good. I trust you've heard the rumor behind Master Bloodwood drinking the blood of his young maids? Wait, that wasn't a joke? And if he runs out of young maids out here in the country, I fear we'll start to see young women disappear from town as well, wouldn't you agree? Well, yeah, maybe. I feel the Bloodwoods must want some of those kinds of rumors to spread for some reason. Why would they want that? Because they're doing something even worse, so they need a preposterous rumor to hide behind it all. Oh, that's like the old saying, if you need to hide a leaf, you need to grow a forest to hide it in. Ooh, I like that one. You might have the makings of a poet, By my the dear. Way, the phrase, where does a wise man hide a leaf, dates back to 1911. Okay, thanks, storyteller. Anywho... It should be clear by now that immortality is what they is that they plan to hide with that blood rumor. Maybe the masters of the household really just like to get it on with young maids. But then why the need to lie specifically about drinking blood? Hell, maybe he does them both. Anyway, thanks. Hope so you enjoy the party. Hey. Um, good day, sir. Good, morning. good day indeed. I don't believe I've yet had the pleasure of making your acquaintance. Considering our environs, it is perhaps in our best interest to perform the expected so social niceties. He looks a lot like Morris, but he must be someone else. Speaking of, speaking of which, about the guy who threw this party. Bloody hell, woman. You mustn't talk about such things so loudly in public. Really? You are aware of the rumor that the Bloodwoods used to skewer the commoners like shish kebabs. It wasn't just a bad joke. A rather strange rumor to have spread, don't you think? Mm, yes, death by impalement. No, I just can't see it happening. It doesn't fit the English temperament, I say. Uh, okay. Beheadings for nobles, hangings for commoners, burnings for witches, mm, yes. We fancy all that, but impalement? I think not. You uh, really know your murder. <laughs> You'd be hard pressed to find a human being who isn't curious about the intricacies of murder. Why do you think the Bloodwoods chose Impalement, then? Are you familiar with the historic figure known as the Impaler? I don't know, what's his name? Vlad the Third, Dracula, otherwise known as Vlad the Impaler. He impaled over 20,000 prisoners and criminals in his lifetime. History claims he perished quite some time ago, but... What if one of the Impaler's descendants came over here and found at the House of Bloodwood? <laughs> Or mayhap, the Impaler himself never really died. <laughs> you think Vlad the Impaler became some kind of a mortal monster? Uh, thanks. Enjoy the party. Look at this fucking run. That's a good run. Hey! Hey! Yo, you sure like you're having fun? Oh, what makes you say that? Thanks, though. Dress is 50 years behind the times, but we do live in the countryside. I suppose it can't be helped. She seems a lot like Virginia Yeats I know, but is she someone else? Uh, hey, don't be so loud. What's the big deal? Haven't you heard the rumors about the Bloodwoods Immortal Army? Oh, it really was true. Oh, come now, don't tell me you actually believe those rumors. If such a thing did exist, don't you think that all the other armies around the world would make themselves immortal as well? And you would be filled with nothing but immortal soldiers. Yeah, I guess you're right. Militarists may be starved for war, but they're powerless against the trends of the times. Guess they sort of have to ride on those trends, or else they'll just end up dead too, huh? It's the trendsetters that wield the real power, honestly. Ah, fashion practically is war, I'd say. Oh, well, why do you think there are rumors about the Bloodwoods having an immortal army then? Because they want their army to look immortal, obviously. They're probably using opium to turn their soldiers into monsters who fear neither pain nor death. Oh, right. 
They do say that upper druggies will just attack you, even if you shoot them. Upper druggies? What? I haven't the foggiest idea of what you're talking about. Sorry, sorry, don't worry. Your little head, just enjoy the party. Nope. I just came up with a really cliched idea. The Bloodwoods are all vampires, right? They're immortal, they impale people, they even drink blood. Then Lynette comes and tells me there's actual vampire's blood being stored in the basement. It all makes sense. Hello, Sev. What if that shadow moving at light speed was actually a vampire who transformed into mist or something? If my hunch is right, then the kegs of vampire's blood are probably coffins for the vampires. Either way, there's something creepy about this castle. Something weird's going on here. How's bad game? Been playing for two hours and 23 minutes. And almost nothing super interesting has happened again. I've been pretty bored. We rode sheep around for a good two hours to get to this cutscene where story's finally developing. Dame Hayward, I have located the stairway to the underground vault. Whoa, you just scared the crap out of me. This way, madam. Do you really have to keep poofing in and out like that? Jeez. Um, but yeah, we learned that one of the town citizens might be a vampire. The the Indeed, people that Dame fucking Dame. ran the town forever ago might be vampires. Yeah, I've this is still Animal Town us. game. We're still in the, the same town. At the end. No turning back now. There has not been any mention of the townspeople turning into animals since that single cutscene. Ugh, I knew this was going to happen. Games always give you one final trial to test what you learn. They're usually stupidly long, painfully hard, and full of recycled content. Man! That yeah. means this is going to be so funny. Yeah, baby. That means that this section is going to be so funny because they called attention to how bad it is. That means it's funny, not bad. Yeah, baby. Ba life. Hello, Teddy. Meta commentary. Dude, it's so funny. It's just yeah, so funny. Baby. When you call attention to your game being bad. Yeah, baby! Yeah, we've been hearing that for the past fucking two hours as well. Yeah, baby! Woohoo! 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 I... So over this game. So this is the treasure vault. Is this the vampire's blood? This is... 100% pure. Whiskey! Yeah. It looks really good. Wait, don't tell Seriously? me. Vampire's blood is the name of the whiskey? Truly Magnificent work, Dame Hayward. That is indeed what my lady seeks. Vampire's blood, clear as day. You expect me to carry this all out of here? Of indeed. You're out of your damn mind. You needn't worry, madam. I'll be sure to pick up the slack. First, I'd like you to gather all the kegs right over here. Carry those barrels. Not the big ones, though. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Dude, what were they thinking? I can't... This game doesn't feel real. I can't believe I paid money for this game. 
Youch! Did that hurt me? That took like a bar and a half of health away. This has inspired your DND campaign. If you make us carry barrels, something is gonna happen where someone is going to die. You know this. We will kill someone somehow. Oh god, my back. No, I'm still too young to start saying shit like that. Halt! Go no further! This fucking gremlin. Ah, oh, you too. I've had enough of the old English crap. What's a vicar doing in a place like this anyway? Thou art a lost lamb. Oh, hey, are you okay? I can barely understand you. My neck. My back. Psh, I'm fine. I'm not even the least bit. My pussy. And my sack. So in other words, you're wasted. I'll have you know that holy water protects me. It's plenty of plenty of holy water in the soiree. Oh yes. We are truly blessed. But this holy water is the best. <laughs> the best. Are you listening to the best? Jeez. Stupid wino. Oh, you poor lost lamb, trying to keep all these kegs all to yourself. Sheesh, no, 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 we can't have that. Greed is a sin. Vicar, you need to guzzle that bucket of water and calm down. Drink, oh yes, drink I shall. But greed is a sin. It is wrong, little lamb. He never shuts up. I'm gonna have to do something about this friendly drunk if I want to get these kegs out of here. It means there's only one thing to do. Make him... Drink until he drops. Lord of the Booze, the Drink King. Use left stick to control the seesaw and keep the ball from falling. If you can keep the ball from falling until time runs out, you win. It's the best out of three. Go on, show him what the Drink Queen is really made of. By the way, if you buy an item that can sober you up before the battle, you'll be able to use it during the fight by pressing A. This is kind of a charming little mini game. She is. But also, <laughs> did you see how it just cut to him fucking dead on the table? <laughs> yeah, I'm the drink queen. Now I can drink as much vampire's blood as I want. Oy. That's not what you were competing for. Cheers, Prost. Cheers, Prost. Tally ho, toodle pip, and all that crap. Yeah, I'm gonna drink until the sun comes up. Oh, Naomi, you're so easily distracted. I hate the narrator so much. It's so unnecessary. I feel like I'm watching a fucking toddler's show where something happens and then the narrator says what happened Peppa Pig I'm gonna drink all night long Peppa decided that she would be drinking all night long shit my head is ringing greetings it's morning what the hell happened no it's quite simple really as you well know, Vicar Macaulay is a notorious lover of liquor. His insatiable passion led him to learn of a very rare brand of whiskey, the vampire's blood. Indeed. Thus the Vicar studied the history of the Bloodwoods and gained conclusive proof that the legendary whiskey was stored in this ancient castle floating over the lake. My apologies. But this castle is a sanctuary that never opens its gates to the uninvited. The vicar has attempted to trespass many times, and I made sure to see him back to town after each of his methods failed. 
I carried him on my own back and ran as fast as my little legs could carry me. Oh, jeez. You really are the legendary sheep. <laughs> it embarrasses me to say this, but yes. Is this supposed to be like a big twist? Because it's so painfully obvious. It's not even a twist. Are you the one who got caught? And It would have been a bigger twist if he wasn't the sheep. I would have actually been like, what? what? Are you the one who got caught in the photo of Elizabeth's body then? Of yes, right as I was carrying the vicar back to town yet again. Huh, it all makes sense now. You didn't kill Elizabeth, right? No, as you know, I served the House of Bloodwood. I would never wish to perform any act of barbarism. Barbarism and risk putting Duchess Lynette in a foul mood. Speaking of Peppa Pig, you got an ad for conservative kids books that accuse Peppa Pig of being hardcore Soviet propaganda. Holy shit. Yeah, you think the guy with the sideways pupils is a sheep? Nah. Oh, the sheep has a hat just like his? No. And a bow tie? No. They couldn't be the same. Is the power of the rainy woods what lets you transform too? How come only you get to turn into a sheep? Oh, oh. This world of ours is nothing but a mystery. <laughs> Stop evading my questions. What about the party then? No one told me they had parties up here. Legendary sh the legendary sheep can run faster than the speed of light. And when that speed is superseded, time rewinds itself. Huh? Seriously? Are you for real? I went back in time? Not exactly. Then what? You better not try and say it was all a dream. Dame Hayward, as a wise poet once said, we are such stuff as dreams are made on. He's literal sheeple. You. you think you can pull the wool over my eyes with fancy words? I want answers, damn it. Besides, neither of those stupid theories explain how the vicar got inside this place. How did he get past the lucent facade and the people at the party? You gonna tell me he got himself so smashed that he just transcended space and time? Answer me, Jeeves. What? Are you done, Good madam? In that you. case, please excuse me. Trot, trot, trot. Damn you! You can't say pull the wool over your eyes. That's like a slur to sheeple. <laughs> hey, you think I'm just gonna let you trot on out of here? This game is so exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, am I glad I decided to hide this baby before I faced off with the vicar. <laughs> Didn't think it'd be this easy to make it out of here with a little souvenir. All I need to do is upload a picture of this on an auction site and whiskey lovers will start tossing money yeah, at me. Baby. Well, you know what they say, time is money. Early bird gets the worm. First thing I'm first time I'm gonna do when I get back is stick this up on Time is money. Time is money. Do like characters in this game all have their like catchphrases and they're all just dumb. None of them are cool. And they are just so out of place. <laughs> it's like it feels like 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 deadly premonition, like the like Fucking York's iconic line is is just like talking to Zack. And that's his 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 like big thing. Just like asking Zack things is like York's iconic thing. And it feels like they took that and tried to apply that to every character and give them some iconic thing they say. And it just doesn't work. Because I don't like any of these characters. Some of them I'm like, I'm, I'm okay with, but like most of these characters I'm pretty indifferent about. And like these catchphrases just feel so out of place. The fine saying, my personal favorite in fact. The thing that changed the most when the human race first invented money was time itself. Food goes bad, clothing falls apart, houses burn down and people die. But when the human race invented money, they found a way to acquire value that's immune to the ravages of time. Let's get to the point already. According to Dr. Anderson's calculations, you should hand over that cake. Damn you! What? You're trying to rob me? According to Dr. Anderson. 
if you were to put that keg up on an auction site. Hmm. You'll become a fool who ends up doing nothing but staring at a computer screen for an entire week. A creature who does nothing but sleep, drink, ever in suspense as the bid value continues to fluctuate. What? No, I... Hmm. Wouldn't you claim? Uh... In conclusion, you should leave the sale of that keg in the hands of the Morning Bell News. Right. They will be able to sell that keg at a higher price than you ever would. And your time, equals money, won't go to waste. Damn it, you're right. I've got one question. How much of a cut do they want? 30% is what I heard. So much. But fine, you got yourself a deal. I know that the Morning Bell crew can probably get in touch with way richer people than I've ever been able to. Good, I'll take the keg from here then. Dude's never heard of inflation? <laughs> Once the... Dude, this, mo this man's mind is gonna explode when we tell him how much a dollar was worth fucking... 50 years ago. Once the item is sold, the profit minus Morning Bell's cut will be deposited into your account. Mm. Now you've got something to look forward to. <laughs> Hell yeah, you better not screw this up. <laughs> oh, MB stands for... More... Um, bucks. Naomi, do you really think you should have agreed to that without a contract or anything? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I love this storyteller. Best of luck. He's so funny. Someone else said my balls also. After that, Naomi waited and waited for the deposit to show up in her account, but it never came. It's Monday. It sold for three million pounds. This game frustrates me. Oh, sweet. My max upload increased by four. Oh, sweet. My max upload max by six. I bet it's this dead body picture. I bet the dead body got me all the fucking followers. I like that the cow pictures got 666 views. It's very annoying that I have to fucking delete these pictures one at a time. Watch out. All right, I'm fucking done playing this game. <laughs> I, I'm so insanely done with this game for today. I'm switching to something else. Are we Logan Paul? Yes. Except in this world, you just get famous for uploading dead bodies. Look, I can. Sh I don't think you saw it, did you, Teddy? Here, I'll show you the fucking picture. See, this is what we uploaded to the internet. This woman just with a sword stuck in her chest. It's not even like a non-gruesome death. She she was murdered. 20,000 likes. This is a video game that exists. So let's do a little cooking. Sautéed wood mouse. Does anything restore health? No. Jackpot! Potato! I like how you can hop in place. Skid the skip button. Dedicated skip button's pretty good.
Eating mice? Listen, it's just their meat. It's fine. Alright, well, I'm done playing this game for the night. I don't really have anything to say about it. Next game time. Fucking Simpsons time!